Hey there, Dengas Drew here. Today's video is about well, week four about here Dingo. on Hard Stand in Bundaberg and is proudly sponsored by MarineEngine.com. I don't need fast forward this bit. I don't, because the dog's the only good in these videos. Oh, fair enough. Alright, this week we focused on the back deck, so let's get stuck into it. I was originally going to weld That's not the, the back deck. old bulwark back on. Your deck's always at the front. The bottom needs repairing and Something we're replacing the different top stainless uh, point, railing. So we're about to both cut that off, repair the bottom. It's actually easy just to put a new sheet of steel in. New sheet of steel like oh, this, look at this, this is not whole sheet. The whole sheet was $150 on. Australian, so, no wonder it's so cheap. steel fundamentally is pretty cheap. It's already it's rusted. rusted. How many euros is 150 Australian? But what well, we need to do now to get it What? I don't down understand why he hasn't painted the boat yet. Is just scribe it's ridiculous. the deck line it's a mess. across the bottom of both sides and oh. cut that so it's Every time he's working on it, there's tools low. everywhere. It's not painted. This means that unfortunately these scuppers will be too low, so I'll we'll cut low. them a bit higher again. But that's no big deal. It's no big deal. And see how it fits. I'm not worried, excuse it. That's not where cable tray goes. <laughs> Who uses cable tray as a straight edge? This one's oh, that's pretty fall much off okay, I reckon. But this one I'm just going to offset by this amount down. Why offset? Why didn't you just get it right cut the first that. time? I've also marked just a few sections that I can yeah. touch up with the grinder to make a better fit before welding. The yellow line no is the boots. angle we You should probably the tell deck. them in the comments. The black line should, is just yeah. offsetting yeah. that. Do you reckon we should read the comments so to make sure no one said it already? <laughs> <laughs> no guard on the grinder. Is that a wine barrel he's got? Oh, bloody alcoholic welders. It's not your back porch, mate. Just going to uh, pry it out with the pry bar and then tack it. What's going on there? That angle, I can't even tell what's happening. I, I mean, I can't. Where, where do they even sleep on that boat? Oh. Is that a gardening tool? What's this all about? It's the weirdest looking little MIG welder I've ever seen. Oh! I can blind from that. Some people. Oh, mate, warning. Next time. Oh, oh where's the weave on that? Oh, you cold. We don't care about your temperature. Yeah. Further. Oh. Well, the dog on a bit much, didn't you, mate? Isn't that weird? Make well already. We well, already saw him do one. Why do you have to see another one? Yeah, the same thing twice, boring. That's not how you dig well. <laughs> What's happening here? Freeze frame. <laughs> Slow speed, there we go. All right, getting pretty good, I think. Bet you that dog was stronger than the main world. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Safety Sam. <laughs> oh, he's, he's going to electrocute himself. Oh, for sure. He's probably already electrocuting himself right there. This is just CGI now. I think he died shortly before the video. <laughs> oh, now the nine inch comes yeah. out. I've seen four people chop their arms off with those things. I don't know. Why are you even using that? I've seen this guy, like his, his good welds he uses a grinder to clean up and his bad welds he uses a cutting disc to weld to clean up. He's still using that ridiculous I've thing. I've well. straight edge to the new ball warp. Not to make it dead straight, but to at least make it even. It actually has a slight curve on it. Though, I mean, it does. Obviously. A straight edge to uh, make a curve. So <laughs> Who does that? I think that's looking like a reasonably nice natural curve. Reasonable. But before I weld the new top on... Are the clamps always going to stay there? I think. We need to replace... They may as well, he's never got a equivalent, anyway, of these uh, upright sort of gusset. It's not an upright. staunch -y type things. It's not a staunch um, doesn't even know the word. In the case of the yeah, crane... I mean, how can he even go to sea if he doesn't know the word? Oh, you're going to sink. the crane and the bulwark. If he doesn't sink, he's going to explode and catch fire. Well, he's already electrocuted anyway, so... Ah, <laughs> oh, some people. 
there's no way that's going to be strong enough. How thick do you think it is? I don't know. These braces, probably doesn't matter, does it? That's still not going to be strong enough. Fair enough. enough. You should comment. And then in this orientation, should we read the comments the again just to make sure nobody's pointed that out? <laughs> <laughs> and look the best. Now that these braces are in, I'm actually going to tack weld this onto the ball. Why don't you do that so before that? Remove the clamps and lay the new top railing on. How we can you lay the top railing, top railing on if the clamps are there? And then we'll knock this off. Come in. What gets me though is this is replacing a perfect little bit that got cut out. That's true. Look at the product placement. What a design. What a sellout. <laughs> Get a real job. Much bend out a thick wall pipe like this. But my plan That's gonna is to water and run to oh, sure. this back the end off. And then bring the end in. Let's see what happens. If it doesn't so no end at all, which I don't think it will, I'll just put a couple of one millimeter. So one, you're saying you don't think it's going to work, but you're going to do it. Then you should have mocked this up and cared. It would have been much faster. Oh. It's not a bad way to put a really shallow bend in a pipe like that. That's not how we would have done it in the five and glass boat loops. No. Oh, you can bend it by hand. So clearly it's not strong enough. It's going on that droopy welding rod. That worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Well, if you didn't know it was going to work, why yeah. did you attempt it? Looks better than you thought and worse. Oh, you don't push it, said it's still it's the that wrong way. way. What are you doing? Comment. Yeah. If you can't be bothered using the right tools, you shouldn't be on YouTube. In the right way. It is a pipe wrench. He was welding a piece of old water pipe on. That was actually a bit of, that was a straight edge for the curve. That's true. Oh, now there's a ratchet strap. What's the load rating on that? Oh. That's not straight. Insufficient. You can see it's not straight. You can see from here. Does he even know it's not straight? I don't think so. Maybe he doesn't know it's not straight. That's definitely a comment. Clean your glasses, mate. Oh, that's it welded on before it's straight. Oh, Last little struggle. That doesn't fit. To it's the, way too long. Oh, cut so once, measure twice. Put a box oh, section on it. I don't exactly cut once. Pushing in. Seems to be bringing it in nicely. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's a gap Tuck for it you. Here and then bend it down. I hope he's good at gap filling. 300 welding rods later. The good thing about this is these welds. There's nothing good about it, mate. Bend the way you want it to bend, as they call. Cool. You didn't mean for it to happen, did, did you? No. It's nice to have uh, the battery welds all in here and just burns the, the ratchet strap. It breaks, the pipe flicks up under the chin, see, we can all the sparks in the welder come down on his feet. The pole, you know, the rail, which is obviously gives us more leverage. He's going to do something dodgy. On. He's outside the boat. But look, just on definitely. The stand he's going to rip that stand on. off. He's going to rip the stand out from under the boat. The boat's going to fall. He's going to hit that really nice big trawler next to him. Wrong. This is insane. We're watching a madman. Oh, okay. It's hit here. All right. The sun is going down. Oh, now he's going to try and weld in the dark. And this is as far as we got. Well, you didn't get very far. Just going to do the turn around to here tomorrow. We would have done that in an afternoon. Oh, pushing on time. Smashed it. Just make mistakes. Then, once that's done, we're putting a dinner handrail on top. So we can tie fenders, Why put it onto one? it, clamp barbecue onto Why it. Why don't you do it all in one go? Tie ropes to it. It's These guys really just turned up with no plan. No plan, no cash, no plan. Look at that one behind it. He's trying to copy that. I didn't get around to replace he is too. The stainless, but there's always next year. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hate this guy. He's so arrogant. Look at him with his tools. <laughs> Ooh, I can cut some things. We don't even know what he's cutting. Thanks, mate. Great, great explanation. Exactly. Yeah. How's anyone supposed to know that the little uprights for the top rail? He's not even, say? He's not even filming what he's doing now. Oh, he's going to do them by file. Oh, well. Doesn't have the uh, mag drill like the other guy. <laughs> Four hours of grinding your welds later. Oh, that's so crooked, it's not funny. That's not a curve, mate. That's a corner. That's a hexagon. <laughs> Oh, here we go, oh, look at this. Oh, this guy again. Oh, Gumby turns up with his gadgets. What? Joining pipes like that with angle and, and clamp, why wouldn't you just weld them together? Yeah. <laughs> so, that, that doesn't even line up with the curve. 
Oh, dueling idiots now. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, here we go. Something's gonna. One of them's gonna die. If we're lucky, both. I'm waiting for the. For them and the chops. Make sure it snaps and they both just go. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe that's why the other guy doesn't wear any shoes, is because because the, the first guy's basically taking all the safety gear. <laughs> and the only mid welder. That's not welded all the way around. What are you doing? Why didn't you do that before? You shouldn't be doing it now. Last you're minute. You're starting with like he's already shown us welding them on. Why do it there so the sparks are going all over the boat when you could have done it down the bottom? Here we go, look, he's, he's covering up his tack welds. Oh, more ratchet straps. That doesn't look very precise. He's not even following the drawings. <laughs> yep. Oh, roundabout, mate. <laughs> yeah. Close enough for government work. <laughs> we need to extend one of these pieces ever so slightly. Oh, oh you cut it too short. So we're going to hunt through Damien's scrap pile. See if we can find some pipes. It's just the ABC planet or the right amount. In diameter. Oh. He's yeah. just going to try a gap fill now. Let's call it now he's today. dumpster diving. We'll chat to him later. This isn't what we signed so, up for. This is not boat building. We didn't sign up for scrap This is long work. enough, but yes, this is diameter 33.3 millimeters. So you might find a sandwich while you're in there too. About a meter long. It's Australia, there's probably snakes and all sorts in there. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to die of poisonous bite by the time this is finished, for sure. That's a working height issue. Oh, wow. Safety police. Oh, here we go. Bend it down, yeah. Bend it like Beckham. He's definitely going to see the tree on That's the technique. Wow. It's like watching Fred Flintstone construct a boat. Nah, Fred would have done a better job. Just cutting these two railings back now, so we can get our cornering. It's not going to fit, done. the pipes are already touching. I thought so you were already too short. Sure. What? Out. Weren't you just trying just to quick. add some length in? And now you're cutting it off. Yeah. Really? use a grinder without a guard. You don't no, use no. a grinder without a guard. You don't. It actually transforms the back. It looks nicer, like even though it's not cleaned up yet and painted. No, it not. transforms it from average the to rubbish. The stainless is polished and the rest is painted. Yeah. He's going to hide I'm making here. some new cleats, some bigger cleats for the new handrail using this thick wall. One That's not a cleat, mate. That's this a bit of pipe. old cleat, which was solid bar, actually fits perfectly inside. So I'm going to cut some discs off this and use them as the So put a piece of scrap in a piece of scrap and call it a cleat. That doesn't look like it's held safely. No. Have you heard of a clamp? A guard. No Plus. guard. I don't actually Holding it without a voice. To you oh, H&S violations, left, right and centre. So I'm just going to make it in, blast it hot, smooth it off. Smooth it off. Cool. Are these your, your test goes? Like you can get the first one right, so you cut seven. Oh, it's well to set quite hot. Get your head in the way, why don't you, mate? Yeah, that, that's a good helmet. Thank you. Thanks yeah, for yeah. showing the helmet. You can really see what's going on yeah. with that helmet in the way. Appreciate it. Yeah, nice work. If that doesn't work, we'll chuck the torch overboard and stick weld it like normal people. Nothing normal about you, mate. No, you need more than that. That's finished, is it? Is that finished? What's this like staccato welding? Just do a little bit at a time and... That actually does look quite a lot like that robot TV. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, I'm I'm like delusional. <laughs> I, I don't know Good if you're aware, but that's the, not how they got this no. bad weld I clean up with a cutting disc. I should probably have them sticking out there. Yes. Like, yes. And just fill the V. Welcome to Welding 101. Thank yeah, you. just think of that on the very last one, did you? That probably actually makes more sense. Doesn't Maybe it? that's why you cut, you know, 27 different ones. So exactly. That he, he actually needs one. By the time one. you get to the last one, he's probably figured out how to do it. 
these little droopy bits of metal. I think Damien was telling me to do something like that. I can't understand his accent. So. Mate, no one can understand your accent either. Haven't you already welded that? Well, here we are, back deck as it stands, railing on. Previously, there were little cleats like that. And now there's more key big ones. Great. Nothing is that an upgrade or a upgrade? They are too big. They're not strong enough either. They're not strong enough, they're too big, and they're in the wrong place. You should comment if they're not strong enough. Actually read just in case somebody's already said that. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, that's true.